Welcome back. We're going to delve a little bit deeper into why parents are choosing alternative schools or independent schools. And joining me to have that discussion is Jagwinder Sidhu, principal at Headway School in Edmonton, Alberta. Jagwinder, thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for coming on. Why do you feel it is important to have alternative schooling options? Well, um, we come from all different corners of the world and we have uh, different religions, traditions, languages, dances, music, poems. And every parent is hoping that these traditions are passed down to their children. And, uh, you know, when basically we come outside of India, we are thrown into a melting pot society like USA or something, and everybody wants hot dogs to come out, doesn't matter what they were before. And uh, now that uh, due to uh, us, uh, you know, being aware of our culture being sort of totally washed by third generation, uh, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a Jewish or Christian or a Muslim or a Sikh, uh, you know, we like to pass our things to our children. And that's why these things are important. Yeah, I'm a parent too, and I agree, you know, definitely on the morality sense and, and the cultural traditions or even family traditions, I like to have my kids near kind of what I want to, um, what I went through, or I want to impart that kind of wisdom onto them. So tell us about your independent school. You're the principal of a school, Headway School in Edmonton. Why did you start it? Well, I'm a product of Canadian culture, and uh, people here are wonderful. I was 13 when I came. And after grade eight, you know, I've been teaching since 1983. And uh, what I see in public schools is, um, and Stats Canada says by third generation, only 30% of the Sikhs retain their Punjabi language. Hmm. So when I read these kind of things, then I also am seeing what's happening by third generation. Our culture is totally, you know, uh, washed, washed out. So... I was a special ed teacher till about 92, and then I decided, you know what? I need to do something for the community, and I want good Canadians. I want children to serve Mother Canada because she's really good for us. She, you know, we are so, you know, sort of, um, sort of liked in Canada. Uh, Mother Canada is really uh, protecting us, and uh, but we could be better citizens if we kept our own traditions and stuff like that, rather than becoming, you know, fake somebodies. Mm. So if we are real ourselves, we could plant our roots in here. And we have traditions that are very good for the mother country. So it's Mother Canada now. And I thought, you know what, I need a school where these children can grow with self-esteem after grade 12. And if you have self-esteem, you're going to be a better citizen. You have more to give to your fellow neighbors. But if you're always following others, you want to be somebody else, then you're not. You don't have self-esteem. And low self-esteem, uh, you're not a good productive citizen for Mother Canada. Well, that's very that interesting. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a child of immigrants myself. And I know what you mean. Like you have these cultural traditions and, and uh, you know, these religious customs and, and, and faith beliefs at home. And sometimes when you go to a public school, you feel you almost have to check that at the door because you know, it's it's more of a, a melting pot, if you will, at the school. So that's it's a very interesting perspective. Now, some I can imagine would push back and say, well, you are in Canada now. Why wouldn't you want your children educated in the Canadian way? That's the problem. They, there might be education, but there is no one Canadian culture which children learn. 90% uh, of these kids in public schools, they're borrowing stuff from New York or L.A. or Florida and they are wannabes of what they are not. The real culture is in old countries, you know, Croatia, India, England, France, Spain. You go to those schools, you see different kind of people, different kind of students. You go to a Canadian school, it's like, you know, four carts, one cart, four, you know, sort of um, horses pulling it in all different directions. There is no culture. So, and it's all borrowed through music or movies from USA, secondhand culture of secondhand people. So where's your own self-esteem? Hmm. Nothing. So, so that's why- So that void would impact a child's self-esteem, you're asserting? Self-esteem, their behavior. That's why only 40% of the children go to university and college. 60% of them we lose by grade 12. 
that for the money we spend in Alberta, most in Canada, most in the world, that is not a good percentage. Sending 40% to post-secondary and then the crime and this and bullying and all that. Uh, why do independent schools almost send 100% of the children to university wow. and college? Well, we're gonna, because they have to. I was gonna say, we're gonna answer that question right when we come from a commercial break. Please stick around.